Intentional Healing Foundation, welcomes you to this introduction of Life History of Dr. Mikao Yuzui, the founder of the much adored and respectfully practiced method of medicine less healing that is popular as Reiki in most countries and is learned with great respect. Dr. Mikao Yuzui, popularly known as Yuzui Sensei in Japan of early 20th century, who rediscovered this wonderful healing science, was born on 15th of August 1865 in the village of Taniai in the Gifu district of Japan. In 1920s, he developed a spiritual system based on ancient Taoist practices, but uniquely Japanese in style. His family belonged to the Tendai sect of esoteric Buddhism. When he was four, he was sent to a Tendai monastery to receive his primary education. He was a very bright student. Yuzui pursued higher education. Like many of the intellectuals of his day, Yuzui was fascinated by the new science. Throughout Yuzui's early adulthood, he lived in Kyoto, with his wife, Sadako Suzuki, and two children, a son, Fuji, and a daughter, Tashiko. He was originally a businessman, and had varying degrees of success. He did encounter some difficulties, but his strong determination and positive outlook helped him to overcome these difficulties. He continued his spiritual studies and became involved in a spiritual group named Reigitsuka. This group had a center at the base of the holy mountain Kuramayama, north of Kyoto. There is an ancient Buddhist temple, Kuramadira on the mountain, which has a very large statue of Amida Buddha and houses many artifacts that are part of the national treasure. He started teaching spiritual sciences here. During his course of teaching, one person asked him about practicing the healing method that Jesus used to use, as stated in Bible. Though the ban on Christianity was lifted in Japan, in 1873, Japan of that time was still quite against Christianity. So learning and using the practice of Bible was out of question. So Dr. Yuzui searched through many Buddhist scripts in Japan. Then, he went to India for further study. He learned Sanskrit and searched for some more things in Vedic literature. After that, he went to Tibet for further search. Here, he found the script that spoke about healing and using the spiritual power for restoring the lost balance of our internal ecosystem. This was the script written by Lord Buddha in his late years. The script is known as Sad Dharma. Pandarika Sutras. In West, this is popularly known as Lotus Sutras. After this, Dr. Yuzui went back to Japan and started meditation on these sutras on Mount Kurama. Here, he meditated for 21 days on the script he had found and brought with him. As he meditated for 21 days, he had the experience of Satori, enlightenment, and he saw some clues for healing with touch and with thought. Then, he started teaching this healing science to people who were close to him and who wanted to benefit by such healing practice. This Reiki training and Reiki healing was then limited to military people. Later, even Tendai Buddhist and Shinto followers became disciples of Dr. Mikao Yuzui. These people who became Dr. Yuzui's students for the healing practice that he taught were known as Shinpinden students. Dr. Yuzui's Shinpinden students were as follows Juzaboro Yoshita, Rear Admiral, Kanichi Takatami, Rear Admiral, Tetsudaro Imezumi, Rear Admiral, Yashahari Watanabe, Admiral. Director of Military Education, Chujiro Hayashi, Admiral, M.I.E. Mine, Musician, Sano Osaboy, Tea Ceremony Master, Haru Nagano, Position Not Known. This is the type of certificate that used to be given during such Riki training on September 1, 1923, Tokyo, and the surrounding areas were struck by the devastating Kanto earthquake. 
most of the central part of Tokyo was leveled and totally destroyed by fire. Over 140,000 people were killed. The wood houses quickly ignited, as they collapsed from the tremors. Three million homes were destroyed, leaving countless homeless. Many thousands suffered serious injuries. The public water and sewage systems were destroyed. It took years for the rebuilding to take place. In response to his catastrophe, Yuzui and his students offered Reiki to countless victims. His clinic soon became too small to handle the throng of patients, so, in February 1924 he built a new clinic in Nakano, outside of Tokyo. His fame spread quickly all over Japan, and, he began receiving invitations from all over the country, to come, and, teach his healing methods. He received an award from the emperor, for having done extremely honorable work. The emperor rewarded him with the degree of doctor. His fame soon spread throughout the region and many prominent healers and physicians began requesting teachings from him. Later, Dr. Yuzui died of a stroke on 9th of March 1926, following Yuzui's death. In 1926, Mr. Juzaboro Yoshita became president of the Yuzui Reiki Ryoho Gakai. It was Yoshita who arranged the erection of Yuzui's memorial stone, located at Yuzui's gravesite at the Saihoji Temple Cemetery in Tokyo, Japan. It was also Yoshita who wrote the inscription that was carved on the stone. Right from 1923, Yuzui Sensei was renting the dojo out in the evenings so that other lecturers could present their ideas. One person who took advantage of this two evenings a week was Yuzui's senior student, Toshihiro Iguchi, whom he had originally taught in Kyoto in 1921. Iguchi had completed the entire Yuzui Do training to Shichiten level and in 1923 began teaching his own version of Yuzui's training, that was simply called My Method by Yuzui or called Yuzui Do by people of that time. Later, this became known as Yuzui T8, to his students. Iguchi was a school teacher, a natural healer, and, he had actually, been teaching, a version of the system, in Kyoto, before he showed up in Tokyo in 1923. In 1925, a retired Navy surgeon captain, named, Dr. Chuichiru Hayashi, had also shown up, in the dojo. He always had a nice smile. He and Iguchi, began to explore, applying key, or, healing energy, to non-students. They tried out the ideas, in Iguchi's booklet, and, Dr. Hayashi suggested, a simple cleansing technique from Qigong or Kiku origins called Kanyakuho, to prepare the practitioner, before each healing. He was asked to write, some kind of procedural material, and he introduced, a Ryoho Shizan, or healing guide for applying ki to various body parts, depending on the injury, or illness. Eventually these would become part of a booklet that the Gakai gave to their new students. It was called Yuzui Reiki Hekai. Later, Dr. Hayashi taught Mrs. Horiyo Takata, who played, a great role, in spreading Reiki worldwide. Today, many celebrities, and, celebrity trainers, use Reiki all over the world. There are people, who, train celebrities, contesting Miss World, and Miss Universe, with Reiki training. Many acting schools, in India, and abroad, are teaching Reiki, to the upcoming artists, for better, health, wealth, and success. A number of well-known artists, in India, and abroad, are Reiki practitioners. They practice Reiki, regularly. Many leading politicians, like, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, and, Sonia Gandhi, have benefited by the Reiki training, and regular practice of Reiki. Anyone, can learn, and practice Reiki, and get health, wealth and success, in daily life, and, almost the whole family, can, forget doctors, once they start practicing Reiki, in daily life regularly. So, best of luck.
to all with this wonderful healing science, and many thanks, to, Dr. Mikao Yuzui, for coming to this planet, on 15th of August 1865, and giving this wonderful, scientific art, of healing, to all of us.